scrub it, correct. Our, our partners at the P-TECH School uh, at Dunbar have requested a trip to the campus for a Stop the Bleed training. Uh, so I connected with Dr. Buchanan and Shock Trauma, and she actually organized a whole day for them here where they'll tour Shock Trauma Center and give them support on a group project, uh, a group assignment that they're doing uh, on a case study. The students are, over the course of the year, studying a patient scenario where a 16-year-old is hit by a car and has to have associated injuries and recover from that, and that seemed like the perfect setting to just bring them to trauma, bring all the specialties they're studying together, and take them through the simulator and let them practice some of those skills. Before you dig in, Whoa. make sure you look. So our students came today, um, a group of about 30, maybe 35 students, and we went through simulations, critical simulations. Um, we did groups of eight, and each group had uh, experience with an RN, we had an experience with a trauma surgeon, we had an experience with physical therapy, and we also had an experience with a respiratory therapist. And each time we did exactly what we do if someone had come into the trauma bay. We have uh, five different stations they're going to go through, one for each of the specialties, and so there's going to be an RT station where they have a, a mannequin that's on a ventilator and they're going to deliver oxygen and maybe they'll intubate. Um, the nursing station is going to do wound care and pin site care and practice IVs on their mannequin. Um, the physical therapy is going to be a little bit later when the patient is recovered more, maybe is in rehab, and they're going to work on different exercises and mobility assisting devices. One is a X-Lab simulator where we have organs and blood and um, they get to see what internal injuries look like with the simulator and it's set up like an OR with a sterile field and an OR table. And then the fifth one is also an OR station for laparoscopic skills because it's uh, a fun hands-on thing they can do where they um, similar to a video game, but they use and try and practice some of the hand-eye coordination that's required for laparoscopic surgery. It's one thing to sit in a lecture and sit there and listen to someone talking. It's quite another thing to um, have the opportunity to learn hands-on. I think that's going to be the part that they're going to rem remember the most. Perfect. For this particular school, uh, they will graduate from high school with an associate's degree. So they take uh, higher ed courses at a community college during the summer and they are on a, an Excel track. This would be extremely helpful to expose them into all kinds of careers within the healthcare profession and get some really good advice. I think it's great that they can go through high school and get this associate's degree in healthcare so that then they can get a job and support themselves for other schooling if they want while they're in high school. And I think an opportunity like this really helps them see what's at the end of that road. We also did a Stop the Bleed class where all the students became certified in Stop the Bleed, where we taught them how to pack and compress and to apply a tourniquet. I think it's impactful just knowing that um, they're very impressionable right now. So what they thought medicine was, now they really know what medicine is. It's a full team. It's not just a doctor or a nurse, but it's a full team of people that help a person from onset of entering through the trauma center until they go home. So they can see that they don't just have to be a nurse, they just don't have to be a surgeon, which is awesome for them to be that, but there are other aspects to medicine. So I think that's really where their eyes were open today. This was a full day of some amazement. It's just so rewarding to see these kids' eyes open up to what's out there in the medical field.